guys have followed the channel in the past weeks to a couple of months here, you guys have definitely noticed that I love to take a look at cut content. Things that don't necessarily make it into the full builds of the game that we either know of from titles years back or titles that are still relatively new and in that public eye for the main focus. But in this one, I want to take a look at something that's kind of been in both. It's cut content that was initially made for Moon on Black Ops 1 and did not therefore make it into the full version of Black Ops 1 that everybody has played with Resurrection back when Black Ops was the main title, and it also got carried over into the Zombies Chronicles Black Ops 3 version, which we'll talk about why this is actually, to me, pretty fascinating in just a bit, but this feature actually gave you little callouts for every portion of the map as you entered into them. So, the doorways would open up and then trigger the map's console or overarching computer, if you want to put it that way, to call out where you were going or give you little warnings about different situations that were happening. So, say you would end up going into the laboratory, it would say that you're entering the laboratory. Or, if you were going to somewhere where you needed your PES and you couldn't actually breathe without your helmet on, it would give you a little bit of an alert here for that. For a little bit of reference, the YouTuber Hitman Veer ended up getting some of this, playing around, tinkering with the game code, and making this an accessible feature that would play just normally. So, I'll let you guys see some of the gameplay that he provided here with this one, but before we get into it, make sure you go check him out. His links will be down there in the description below. Go toss him a sub and show him some love for sure because this kind of stuff does take some time and I thought it'd be just cool to feature it here up on the channel. So, let's take a look though. So as you can see, the different audio cues and different audio files themselves are exactly the same for this in Black Ops 1 as well as in Black Ops 3, but what's pretty cool about it, I think, is that it gives you this heads up. Yes, but I totally understand why this probably was cut because after a while, if you're ending up going for either the Easter egg or high rounds, chances are you're gonna be going in and out of these doorways all the time. So it probably would be something that would, after a little bit of time, it would get pretty annoying. So. That may be the reason why it never ended up making its way into Black Ops 1 and therefore in Black Ops 3 as well, but the game files indicated that once again, of course, it was obviously intended to be there, just never ended up making it as such. Now, why I think this is actually so cool is the fact that Black Ops 1 was a completely different version, and if Blundell and the rest of Treyarch are actually 100% genuine, which I really think they are. They said that they built all this stuff from the ground up. Yes, they had everything in place in which they could make it for good reference, or they could if they really wanted to copy and paste things over from porting, but they said they didn't. So whenever you take this and actually take a look at these scripts, it's pretty cool to think that they're compatible with a map that was once again built from the ground up as a reimagination or a remold of a previous map, but also on a completely different new version of the Radiant Engine, which is what builds all of these maps that we see in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. But overall, I just think it's fascinating once again, because this was something that was intended to be there, but nobody in the general public really ever saw this. Of course, once again, if you go in and dig around with the game code, take a look at some of the assets and the different scripts to trigger this, you can piece it together, as did Hitman Veer, but for the most part, a lot of us don't have access to that, or either don't have the knowledge, time, skill, whatever it may be to actually do that. So for about probably 99% of players that have ever played Black Ops, this is something we've never seen. So I always think it's really cool to take a look at this kind of stuff. But I want to let you guys see this. I thought it was something very cool. Once again, I'm super fascinated by this stuff that never makes it to the public. Maybe you guys are, maybe you guys don't really care all that much. But feel free to drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Would you guys have liked to see this little entering different areas and warning signs, things like that show up? 
in the versions of Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 3 Moon, or do you think it's for the best that it didn't actually make it into the full builds of the game? Whatever it may be, feel free to drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. But that's what we're gonna wrap it up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Zombies Chronicles, Zombies in general, Black Ops 3 multiplayer, Call of Duty World War 2 multiplayer. Still got a ton of stuff with that coming, so make sure you guys stick around for that. Modern Warfare Master, all that good stuff, we got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube, but practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hopefully you guys had a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Nicole Espresso. Take care and peace.